Unless you haven't turned on a television or radio in the last few weeks, you're likely already familiar with the Titan submersible situation. But just in case you're not, here's a quick rundown. In June of this year, Ocean's Gate launched a submersible on a mission to explore the wreckage of the Titanic. However, after just an hour and 45 minutes into the expedition, all communication with the vessel was lost, and the submersible went missing for several days. On board were five individuals, including the founder of the company. Despite an intense search covering over 19,000 square miles, there was still no trace of the missing Titan submersible. The fate of those on board remains uncertain, leaving us wondering what could have possibly led to their disappearance. This mystery continues to spark debates and speculation among experts, but today we're going to review the top 10 things that went wrong with the Titan submersible. Before we get started, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to be notified when we post more amazing videos like this in the future. And here we go. Number 10. Poor Communication it appears that the vessel had limited communication capabilities, making it difficult or impossible to contact people outside of the submersible while underwater. This could have made it very difficult for the crew to communicate and coordinate emergency response in case of an incident. Number 9. Propulsion System Issues Another issue with the Titan was its propulsion system. The design of the submersible was such that it was only able to move forward, not reverse or turn. This could have made it very difficult for the crew to maneuver and steer away from potential hazards during their mission. Number 8. Ballast System Malfunction the ballast system was designed to adjust the buoyancy of the submersible underwater, allowing it to move up and down depending on the density of the water. Unfortunately, this system was not functioning properly and could have made it difficult for the crew to adjust their depth as needed. Number 7. Hull Vulnerability The hull of the Titan submersible is made of a combination of carbon fiber and steel and was not designed to withstand the high pressure conditions at the depths that it was intended to reach. This could have made it particularly vulnerable to water seepage or other external forces. Number 6. Lack of Redundancy Systems It is believed that there were no redundancy systems in place on the submersible, meaning that if an issue arose with one of the systems, such as a propulsion or ballast system, there was no backup available. This would have made it difficult to safely complete the mission. Number 5. Inadequate Testing the Titan submersible had not undergone any rigorous testing prior to its first mission, meaning that any flaws in the design or equipment could not have been identified and corrected beforehand. This could have put the crew at risk of a catastrophic failure while underwater. Number 4. Poorly Trained Crew The crew on board the Titan submersible had no experience with such a mission, meaning that they may not have been able to properly respond to any issues or problems that may have arisen during the dive. This lack of experience could have had serious consequences. Number 3. Lead Engineer Disagreement It is believed that the lead engineer on the mission disagreed with many of the decisions made by Ocean Gate, such as allowing non-engineers to serve in critical roles and not ensuring proper safety regulations were followed. This could have put the crew in a dangerous situation. Number 2. Inadequate Equipment and Materials Another possible reason why the mission of the Titan submersible imploded is that the equipment and materials used were overall unsuitable for the depths they were going to reach. Former Marine Robert Messer, who declined going on a previous trip with the Titan, noticed tarp being used in place of thick rubber seals. Number 1. No outside regulation The Titan submersible has been operating in international waters outside of any country's regulation, including the U.S. This means that it is not subject to the law requiring passenger submersibles to be registered with the Coast Guard. However, members of the Marine Technology Society's Manned Underwater Vehicles Committee wrote a letter expressing concerns about its development, citing the need for third-party validation to ensure the safety of occupants. Ocean Gate defended its decision, stating that their goal was to pursue innovative and operation outside of the established system. While this approach could have put crew members in a dangerous situation without any safety net in place, it has been operating safely so far. And that's all we have for today. We hope you enjoyed this video. If so, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and drop us a comment down below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.